Yeah, I want to see what intrigues a lovely creature such as yourself. Have you seen my underlings? My so-called students? What I ask you can they hope to learn from me? Buffoons, that's what they are. A pathetic parody of scholarly devotion. They hear my words, but they do not understand them. Mindless fanatics and cultists. Idiots! Besieging me with their endless questions. Killing them is pointless. I cannot banish them or use them as test subjects because as soon as one dies, two more sprout in their place. And the demons I'm forced to work with, they are unable to fulfill even the simplest of instructions. All their tiny minds can think of is how to chew one another to pieces. Darazant, Minago, Jerrybeth, they all started plotting against me as soon as they took up my post. It's true, actually. <laughs> Especially the last one here. I wonder if I can recruit them to be my, my scientist instead. How am I to work under these conditions? I am surrounded by utter morons. My only ambition has been to study the science and discover secret truths, but instead I have been obliged to manage a herd of brainless animals. <laughs> He's so fucking done with all of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. I have found myself at a dead end. I cannot abandon everything and leave. I will only be exchanging life in this unbearable place for life amongst nameless ruins. Constantly aware that my former masters could find me an exact retribution. Oh, he has some kind of dark past too. I could hardly continue my work without my laboratory. You have given me a way out, Vandal. A place where only peace awaits me. Where I will have no students or masters. Death. I am tired. I don't want to kill you. Your desires are of no concern of mine, inferior being. My existence will end as soon as this dialogue settles my unexpected curiosity. What the fuck? I'm like a Dota mid player. Your naivety is worth lingering in this world, a surprising incomprehensible phenomenon. I regret that I will not be able to study under my laboratory conditions. Deep below Dresden, where the power of the sword of weather cannot reach, there is a place where the abyss and the material plane meet. It is where Lady Irelia opened one of her rifts, creating a direct route to the Abyss. There's a direct route to the Abyss below fucking Dresden? And these dumbass crusaders never noticed? That is where the Nahindran crystals are coming from. The rift leads to... I suppose I don't want to spoil the surprise, Vandal. You do love surprises after all. Such an attack will reveal the secret of the Midnight Fane to the Crusaders. It has no right to fail. Unfortunately, you impressed Dalazan so much during the Battle of Dresden that he lost all courage. I am sure you'll meet him in the Fane. Aggrandizing... Aggrandizing himself at the expense of whoever happens to be around. What a laughing stock. However, sooner or later, we'll certainly try to attack Dalazan from the inside. He is more afraid of the Scary than you. What are crystals? Special keys that came with proper handling after a tedious ritual awakened mythic powers from a demon. The process was discovered and developed by the great Arilu Vorlash, my mentor. Isn't that... Oh, that's the one I pretended to be, um... That woman crusader. She calls it transformation. Oh, maybe this is where we're getting our power from. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and you know what I was saying? We're making super crusaders with the crystals? Maybe that's our main character. Those that have undergone it are called mythic demons, for their powers truly deserve to be glorified in myth. Who are you? I'm a higher being. I surpassed my mortal shell, discarded it, transformed myself into a larva, becoming a locust. My loyal service to the Dark Horse has not got unrewarded. Lords Baphomet and the Scary both gave me their consideration. I earned respect on this side of the world wound, and the only person whose I respect have no one is my mentor, Aru de Vorlesh. That's all that is permissible for you to know. How did you achieve this state? No secrets can escape my prying gaze. I won't be telling you anything. I didn't spend years conducting research, carrying out experiments and forbidden studying forbidden texts to give the to some vandal. The sacrifices I have made, the impossible truths my mind has has had to encompass, the sky's philosophy, Baphomet's sophistry, Arash Kagal's riddles, the nebulous ravings of lesser known demons such as is ya gun? Is ya na? You have probably never even heard these names before. It's not that you even managed to get your hands on my notes. 
They say there is no king's road to knowledge, but for vandals, there isn't so much as a dirt track. If you want to achieve what I have, then follow the path I have to take every single step. What's with all the questions? We're to know enough what the two to destroy him once and for all. The best thing for everyone is knowing the knowledge we came and dies with him. You dumbass fucking paladin. This is why Crusaders can't win this war in 70 years and have done it in like 4 days. Use this fucking paladins. What do you know about Irina Vorlash? She is my mentor. Although she has never given me the slightest recognition, it was she who invented the method for transforming demons using the hidden crystals. She is the best of all humans and demons, a true scientist, pioneer architect of the world wound. It is ironic that both of the Ambers find a scientific man who mortals once, isn't it? True scientist, I wholly agree with every word the swarm says. I like how the swarm talks. How can he talk? Go easy with the praise there, friend. I really is a criminal whichever way you slice it, and you gushing compliments are bound to put you on the same level. Complimenting a criminal that puts them on the same level as a criminal? Every time this character opens her mouth, I hate her more. <laughs> Me on the same level as Arena Vorlash? One of her devoted followers? What a lovely thing to say, thank you. How about Jerry Buffingers? Probably some gnat who thinks herself queen of this dung heap. She hates me for usurping her in the sanctum, but she doesn't dare to go against the orders of Baphomet and his daughter, Hemsamira. Terrible is a known quantity. I want to add that. Oh! Evil! You may be interested to learn that Jerepas has given me her mark. The swarm you are composed of will fall under her throw as soon as you release your hold on it. Thank you for telling me. This information changes things greatly. Unfortunately for you, my capitulation is now moot. I have no desire to spend eternity serving the whims of that irritating gnat. Uh, can he serve me? Wait, what? He casts Greater Invis, Dimension Door, and now he fights me again. Huh? I don't think he wants to report that shit at all. I will resist. Uh, this is a uh, Dota mid player when you tell them they're gonna get abandoned and then low priority. Spawn swarms too. Oh god, what is this fight, man? What is this fight? Phantasm will kill him again! Failed. What did dude save? Roll the 19! Lucky bastard. Who's that player? Who's that player? Uh. Spell resistance. We have everything still. Except for Burst of Glory, maybe. I hate how it's the start of every fight, so you can't move. So stupid. What is this? Oh, that's my Shadow Demon, I think. I summon. Wait, what? I can't use this? Oh, I need a full turn for it. Man. I think I just killed the boss and I just real time kill these guys. Should be fine. They're really weak the swarms. Lan, you know what to do. You won't survive me. <laughs> oh no, he has a turn! Okay. Either he dies or we have a lot of problems. Prepare yourself.
the attack commence. Do I just fucking blast this man? What, what character is this? Why is Bismuth a dog? Huh? What the fuck happened to you? Baleful polymorph, permanent. He's not in dog form. What the fuck? Since when? Phantasmal killer. I think he died. Why does that work on him? Hopefully I don't get fucked like this. Maybe cast this spell. Hope it works on them. They will take damage every time they try to attack. Oh, it works on them! I think? Yeah, every, every round they try to attack, they take damage now. That's pretty good. Kill them. So I guess if I just kill them normally without revealing the plot, then he would have been captured by the woman. Maybe I should have just done that. But then the evil choice was to tell them, so I, I don't know. It sounded more evil to not tell them. Plus six int? Big smarts. Got a helmet too, isn't it? No. something new from the book you have learned something new from the book what the fuck mm, no i'm not mad two times 90% filled Touch of mercy plus four. And never just confirms a crit on an only being and instantly kills. <laughs> Insta kill on target below for a blow ADHP. A success worthy of praise. But I don't have anyone that uses that weapon, so. And wait for me there, I wonder. Wait, what? The bedrooms are right next to each other? Where's the lady? I forgot what she said. Uh. Uh. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, she was here in the corner. 
think I have to restart my game again. This will require a lot of work. A lot of work to preserve this beauty. See? Using another living being in one way or another. That is the highest form of compassion possible for us demon. To coexist with others we like we we like and to take pleasure in the simply beyond our capabilities. Greetings, Crusader. Have you finished your business in the Ivory Sanctum? If so, I am happy to answer your questions now. Chaotic! Give in to your inner demon! Before you can think, you rush forward and s seize Jerub by the throat. I hope you weren't planning on betraying me the way you betrayed the demon lords one after another. Even if you weren't, I might like to kill you just because. I know, I know. I sense your power, brother. Brother zones! The abyss itself will quake should you ever enter it, and many demons will look upon you with envy. Zanendra is crafted in a short wire. She has a hideout right under your nose, not far from Dresden. Search the temples of your good deities. Search them carefully. One of them is larger than it looks. I can tell you a lot about that. I've gone to the ritual myself. When I return to the abyss, I will destroy the, the memory. And that feeling of incredible helplessness and pain and horrifying pain. The crystal is not like an ordinary magic potion that you may have encountered before. It changes a demon's very essence, their soul, if you like. It changes you entirely. But you're hardly interested in my trials and tribulations. Listen, the crystals are brought here directly from the abyss, from the Midnight Isles, the realm of the Lady Nock. Isn't this the succubus I'm trying to fuck? Lady uh, Nocticula? I'm switching my alignment from lawful to chaotic just to... Just to fuck her. With her permission and approval, Hebzimira herself, the daughter of Lord Vaphomet, oversees the shipment herself. Exanter has always been in charge of the transformations, but he was not the one who devised the ritual or discovered the crystals. Uh, the crystal's properties. The architect taught him that. She, Arni Vorlash, is very arrogant. She thinks that she has the right to push... She thinks she has the right to push real demons around. So don't think you solve this problem for good. Sooner or later, Arilu will share the secret of the ritual with another. And demons more powerful than you will inundate the lands of the woman once more. Lord Daskari was the one who started the invasion. Arilu Vornas opened the world wound for him, and she expanded it for him. Later, he was joined by my master, Lord Baphomet, now former master. Few people know that Lady Nocticula has been helping them, from the shadows, as is her wont. As, as is her- what the fuck? But commanding forces, battles, all that is beneath the notice of the Lord of the Abyss. Each of them have their Archpriest. The Skari has his Echo. Literally a lesser incarnation of Descari himself. Baphomet's forces are led by the ruthless Hepzamira, his daughter by blood. I don't know, won't was a word like that? I, I don't know. Each of the art priests have a host of powerful be beings at their command, such as myself, Minago, Darazan, and the captivating Xantir. We mustn't forget him. And then there is... Then there is her. Irina Vorlesh. The architect of the world wound, as she is called. Born a pitiful mortal, not a demon. Not even reborn in death like Xantir. She stands apart from all others. She goes where she wants, talks to the arch priest as an equal, and sees everyone else as underlings nothing more. I am not even sure if she obeys the echo of the Scarry, or if he obeys her. What do you know about her? Arude Vorlesh. A hundred years ago she was a human, a common eldritch sorceress from Sokoris. 
but Sarkoas did not care for arcane magic users. Druids, shaman, and priests ruled those lands, and they despised anyone who ruled magic in ways different to their own. The mages held in great, the mages held in great suspicion, saw their days out in prison, known as threshold. And that is where Arida was held. From her cell, she appealed to Lord Daskari, and for some reason he saw something in that pathetic mortal plaything that was worthy of his attention. No one knows what they spoke of or what they did, but Arida emerged from her prison cell utterly changed. She emerged when the, when the earth all around was fracturing, and all Golarian shuddered from the wound inflicted on it. Right there within the walls of Threshold, the world would begin to break open. I really changed her very nature. She turned herself into a hall fiend on her own or with the Lord's help. I don't know. Her powers grew exponentially, and many disguised generals surging through the moon in the glare and saw her as a queen. Gutless losers. Arida was entirely infected by her fame. It was as if nothing could provoke her. Not the hatred of her former people, not the fear and envy of the demons. And this is how she is to this day. She roams between the plains alone, pursuing her own ends. Arida Vornash, the betrayer of humanity, architect of everything you see around you. The Midnight Fane, of course, it was built in the bowels of the earth below uh, below Dresden, so deep on the ground that even the power of the mighty Sword of Valor cannot reach it. It is a chapel of three demon lords, the Skari, Baphomet, and Nok Dikula. All of the all of the world wound is connected, fused with the abyss, but this place especially so. It contains a rift known as the Gates of Midnight. This chapel is protected against any invasion. All visitors from the Midnight Islands go there. Minago and Darazan have built a nest there. I enjoyed spending time there myself, and it became too unruly. Okay, chaotic. You fulfilled your part of this deal. I no longer have any use for you. As a demon, you should have expected this. Let's have some fun. Endure this. I like she doesn't even say anything. She just goes into combat. Why? Why am I attacking my own teammates? What are you doing? Mind fog? What are you doing? Desna, guide my hand. <coughs> Make I can't peace. check where his stats. I will resist. Oh my God! The attack of opportunities. Into the fray. What's over HP? Oh, I can inspect like this. She is very strong. Oh, she's greater life. No wonder. 42 AC. 29 spell. This, this guy is stronger than Exantir. Guess I can't Phantasma kill this. Can I? It's still doable, actually. But need to be lucky for this one. Overcome the spell resistance. All the five only. It's not inspection being turned off. You just you just can't check. Look, it doesn't work. But it works here. It's bugged or something. These two idiots. What the fuck just happened to that cultist? Help me. Yeah. 
How about you delay your turn? Is that bonus kit? Oh my god. The outflank bonus, I think. Jesus. Phantasmal killer. We're all safe. All the 15. That was my last one, too, sadly. Like giant demons pretending to be tiny cultists. I simply hope she doesn't die. This fucking charm, man. What's a touch AC? Mind over muscle. Oh. Twenty-eight. It's not even that bad. So hard to hit anything. It's actually close. Move all this far before he also turns on against me. Survive me. I, I hate these super high AC mobs. This is so such a pain in the ass to deal with. icon so it, it's all messed up Every t everyone looks like an enemy to me because my main character got charms so weird the time for magic missiles I could try one more disintegrates it just straight up missed oh right she's never hitting that Actually, could have, but hard. Endure this. It doesn't heal me because I'm on the other side. I have selective channeling. Oh my god. What am I hitting right now? Oh, the Shadow Demon, nice. Lucky. And Shadow Demon is hitting me too. <laughs> oh, magic missile this. She'll die eventually. Horse, bite her face. Make every strike count. I could dispel magic somewhere, I think. Mm. I don't think I have anything against charm. No. 
Maybe spell resistance? No, it wouldn't be. This is a different check. Like uh, we're all saving or something. No, death spell. I don't think I have any rewards. How come I don't use aids? This spell's pretty nice. Ah. Inshallah, pray. Maybe heal? I don't know. Does it? But he was bugged though. Injury, ability damage, blind, confused, daze, dazzle, disease, exhaust, fatigue, nausea, poison, sicken, and stunts. It basically removes everything but charm. Like everything in the world but charm. Or maybe it's confused though. Maybe it's not charm. I don't know which buff it is, man. Jesus. I, I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter because the range is too short anyway. And I'm winning anyway. Probably. Protection from a line prevents charm from applying? Really? The fuck? I didn't know it was that strong. The wrong I've been using for the plus two AC, which I'm not even sure if it stacks. Doesn't say. It says plus two AC and plus two resistance on saves. Doesn't say it stops charm from ever happening. Expanded? Yeah. I know mean, she's evil, so plus two saves. See, like a dominated two now. She's dominating two people to make them fight each other? <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Hey, she died from her own... No, wait. Land killed her. From one of his uh, passives that do constitution damage. I don't remember which one that even is. What is that? Or maybe an item? Nah, I'll fucking know. I, I remember something does constitution damage on him. Oh, was it the cloak? Yeah, maybe it was the cloak. And this one! He skinned her alive! Whenever you hit the first time in a the round, they have to pass a fortitude check or they get fucking skinned. Okay, now let's hope this shit runs out. And then we walk away here. No, don't kill everybody! I can't lose because even if they kill everyone, at least one guy stands alive by himself, right? Right? I deserve this. This is what I get for dumpsteading my fucking wisdom. This is what I get. Although the paladin has no excuse. Yo, is all of this blood mine? Uh, never thought I had that much. Loot! Horse, go! Extend meta magic rods. Hey, is that so good? Holy fuck! That looks super good. An extended spell lasts twice as long as normal. Uh, who do I want it on? Haste, maybe? Do I have other rods? I didn't know they were reasonable like that. I 
gotta do it in haste because haste is so short. I'm gonna go to the toilet. Uh, be right back. I am back, Mr. Pugs. Thank you for the prime. Lito, thank you for the ten. Jesse Free, thank you for the nine months. Thank you all very much for the subs. I'm restarting my game again because I feel the lag building up. I'm Seems right. to be happening. Either this zone builds it up fast or it's just happening more because of the bigger save. I don't know. Fucking Unity games, man. It's always Unity games that have such wonky ass frame drops. Like one smoke cloud and the whole fucking PC just blows up. I'll update my PC soon. I want the latest CPU and latest graphics card. Don't be like 3K or shit, I guess. In total. Of all the other parts. I want it. This will leave a bruise. Why can't she move? She's still confused or something? Or just... Insanity permanent? Hello? Oh, please help me. How do you remove permanent insanity? Create the restoration or heal. I'm all right. Are made to be broken. Good thing I is heal. I can't tell which one of this. I, I hope the other guy isn't affected by it. AMD or Intel? I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, I guess this place is done. I think I'll teleport back to Dresden. Get rid of the corruption. And also move my heroes of mighty magic armies around. Playing on a three-year-old laptop? Three-year-old laptop is not that bad. My piece is like, what, four years old by now? I just listen to my brother, man. He just buys me the PC. I just follow his advice. I, I'm a big dumb dumb. I listen to smart people. It's easier that way. It was that place, right? Look, the frame rate is completely fine now. And that place was just, I don't know, so draining. <clears throat> I have a 1080 Ti as well, but that, that card is falling behind with newer games. Well, 
the fuck is this? Look at how many armies I have. What is this? What are you? I just keep stacking up, man. I already have like four dump armies here. Like they're literally here just to not block the main city from um, spawning the stuff I need. You see that? There's like fucking four of them here now. So send them back. Oh, it's not that far. Oh, I hate that you can't just delete units. What the fuck? I teleported back and it said there's someone on the road? How does that make sense? Missed me already. Oh, wrong one. All right, this is fucking suspicious. What is this, Commander? I wasn't expecting to see you here. It appears my luck hasn't run out just yet. May I ask you for help? Assess his wounds. He lost a lot of blood, judging by the pool around his boots. He should have collapsed into unconsciousness long ago. So much blood. Perception. Foreign strength has filled him at the most possible time. He has stopped to rest in the middle of an open area where the deadly arrow may come flying in any direction. And anyone approaching would like to have in danger. I find this all very suspicious. Oh, it's this lady! Kailessa! From the very beginning of the game, I let her go. And then the guy was like, be careful, you can't trust her. He can't be trusted. This is a trap. Forn is an assassin of the Winter Council and he's come here to kill you. Watch out, she's stronger and deadlier than she looks. Slay her before she kills us both. I believe Kalesa, just because. Oh, it was! She was right! That is a shame. If you had just believed me, it would be over more quickly and less painfully. It's unlikely that my soul is against an easy death now. My kin, if I could explain the truth to you, even you would see that your death is necessary. Alas, I don't have time to do that. Please just believe me and accept your death in an easy heart. You pay for your deception, or uh, elf. I am sorry for having to do this. Believe me, I take no pleasure in carrying out this order. But circumstances are stronger than our desires. We have the light. They isn't this the beginning of the game quest? Burn, Wait, no, he's level 16. The I see your They're level 40 drows of mages. What the fuck? Okay, maybe it's not that early of a quest. I thought it bugged out and just never showed up. What, this looks like a proper fight. Why does it move if it can't reach?
new round. They're all moving next round. I hope I get to kill one at least. Oh, let the attack commence. Okay. What the fuck? What? Why is she hitting her own? There's a bunch of invisible draw fencers too. What's wrong with you? Huh? No confusion or anything. Why? <laughs> I don't get it. Why is she hitting her own friend? Shit. Do I have to try to save her or something? There's no permanent death, but I don't know if that counts for NPCs. Thank you for Saken for the tier one. Into the fray. <laughs> the depths out, what the fuck? Prepare yourself. Can't move. Am I blessed still? I'm so blessed. Kind of have everything. Can't use this. Lan, you know what to do. You won't survive me. Don't know shit. No, actually, I almost killed one. Doesn't he have charge? Yeah, he does. Uh. Right. Die, die, die. Can't hit a horse. <laughs> oh. Oh no, it looks like she's fine, I think. Yeah, she's like in some kind of NPC mode. like turn-based modes so nice you can actually play the game which is surprising the light take you Desna guide my hand Desna is fucking lying to you It's almost like it's designed for such play. You think? <laughs> you say that, like it's meant to be played like that, but then. PC game developers keep doing the fucking real time with pause for like 25 plus years anyway. This. So yeah, even though you make sense, th these guys don't care, so... It just is. Burn, uh, did he just... Yep, he did. He cast it right in front of my face. And therefore suffered an attack of opportunity. <laughs> Immune to magic missile. Is there a shield on him? Yeah, it must be. My blade. Make your peace. Can you hit one shot? Okay, thank you. Exceeded expectations. 
Hellfire Not bad at all. Make every strike count. May I see your entrails, please? Being the last one alive, he can be beaten by a horse. And he got fucked by attack of opportunity again. I didn't expect this quest to uh, come back this late. I, I thought it just bugged out and never triggered. Turns out it really was just a late game quest. I knew I would die like this on the edge. Wait, what? On the edge of the world. Oh, it's the, this guy. I thought it was the lady. Defending the threat of nobility that weaved my race into a single glorious nation. At least I do not die in vain. Just die already, backstabbing wretch. He clo form closes his eyes. The quiet, peaceful breath escapes his lips. His chest stops heaving, and the fingers he had wrapped around his weapon go limp. He even managed to die gracefully, despite being a complete scoundrel. What now? I, la I ask one last favor of you. I still have friends left in Kionen, real friends, ones I can trust. Send a letter to a Avenara, to the leader of the Border Defenders. Recount my tragic tale so it doesn't die as the Winter Council wants it to. Since I won't have the chance to speak this truth myself. Because you will have to end my life now, soldier. Huh? Why do you seek death? The dark fate is claiming me. I can feel the malevolence, malevolence and the hatred in my heart growing fiercer with each day that passes. The memories of the crimes I was forced to commit are clouding the world before me. I refuse to tread this path any further, to turn into a monster. If you have any mercy, I beg of you. Kill me and end my torment. A light fate? Wouldn't that be nice? But no, no such blessing exists. The road into darkness goes only one way, and I've almost reached its end. The dark impulses in my heart have been going stronger by the day. It's been getting harder and harder to remain myself, to resist the urges. I've spent all my strength. When I saw Thorn dying, I almost howled in delight. I wanted to dig my nails into his face, gouge out his eyes, mango him and rejoice. It's not me anymore. It's the beast I've turned into. And it will break free. Very soon. There are... These are the last minutes of old Kalesa's life. Please don't delay. And spare me the fate of becoming a monster. Is the curse that's damning you truly stronger than a passionate heart? Stronger than a pure soul? Even as a drow. She's a drow? You will retain your memory. Your personality. You could still do some good. And struggle. Against the call of evil as before. I understand why you want to believe it so badly. You're afraid that you might be damned too. I don't know. Maybe you extend from the darkness, but that path is close to me now. I'm exhausted. I can't find any longer. I won't do it. Become a monster and give me bonus XP. I never said you had a choice. Goodbye, soldier. My dream. Motherfucker. Holy fuck. And he just kills land before time. she goes? Just I'm die in peace. Composite longbow plus three. Oh, they all have rapiers. Plus two only. They all have magic items. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What about the main guy? Was his name Thorn or something? Where did he die? This one? No items on him? No, I guess it'll show up. Huh. It'll show up here, I guess, when I leave. Why didn't that guy? I don't know about masterwork weapons. He doesn't care that much. Oh, 
Oh my god. The moment I enter this town, right? It's gonna be 20 years of dialogue. Every single person in the world wants to talk to me. I've been gone for so long. I didn't mean to go here. I don't mind role playing. I just don't want to be the kingdom's bitch. Here, Beth wants to talk. There's only one right here. Hiding the truth. No, 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 no. Okay, what's the. Uh, 50 marksmen for revealing her truth. Pass. What is this? Commander came across notes of Alexander Fang. His experience described as the horrible, inhumane, and intriguing. Alexander used to submit himself and his victim to metamorphosis and attempt to become a living sword united by a single consciousness. The commander can repeat his experiment at a higher cost. He will have to expose numerous mortals to painful three sections, not to mention the fact that the commander himself is in the middle of something. No one on the whole. Oh! I can do. Good stuff, but it removes units with a total value of 500. What's the value of one unit? Where do, where do you check? Unit value, where? I don't care if we just get some dialogue. I'm gonna do it anyway. I can see your equipment. Oh, let me check there. See value anywhere? AC, flat foot, touch, HP, morale, melee, damage. Maybe the gem? Oh, that's finance points. That's the cost. Maybe value is cost? I don't know. Fucking vague, man. Why gotta be so vague? Like, I don't know if it, like, removes a hundred arches or something. And then I'm just fucked. Nah, fuck it then. It's too vague. Okay, time for infinite dialogue. I'm scared. Oh, wait. I want to reduce my army, but you know, what if it takes the important units? I, I, wa I want to sacrifice the shit units that I have. I have like four stacks of garbage units I'll never use. But if it takes like my marksman or something, it's just... Uh What the fuck is this? Oh, this guy from the statues. They concealed it right under our noses. And without Xanthus' notes, that incarnation of corruption, even I would not have been able to locate the barrier. Surely the Herald of the Inheritor can get rid of the scourge? It is impossible, righteous one. How is he calling me the righteous one? I cannot do it alone, but wait. I hear the steps of one who brings hope. I am the hand of the inheritor, herald of Imode, the Lightbringer, and I greet you, champion of Golarion. Me? 
Chaotic, can you stay like that for a little while? Every single person doesn't hasn't seen the god of this message needing before me yet. <laughs> I assume you're joking. Although I am quite happy to offer up homage to such a deserving hero. You are indeed an exploit champion. You have brought hope to this accursed lands. Hope that the demon invasion will finally be stopped once and for all. I am here to aid my goddess's chosen one. This. The ivory sanctum held a dark secret. Directly be beneath Dresden, in the bowels of the earth, there lies one more bastion of the demons. The Midnight Fane. It is a repository of, mi of a mighty rift through which the spawn of the abyss travel to Golarion. The entrance to this place is right in front of us. Blocked by a barrier that is accessible only to demons. So this is where Minago fled to. And where all the demons in the city have been coming from. They can pass through the barrier freely, but we can't. And it doesn't just stop us, it injures us too. Ah, it is much worse than that. The barrier is imbued with enormous power. An attempt to break through it will trigger a magical explosion. I could protect you and the city from it, but even my powers will be insufficient to hold back the chaos and open the way. This is what disturbs me most. We cannot allow the demons to rebuild their armies and plot the next thing right below the sacred heart of the crusade. What do you think we should do? I think you should continue the crusade, making sure to carefully investigate all demonic and contest activity. Sooner or later we will learn how to breach the barrier without triggering an explosion. Until then, I shall stand watch here and safeguard the city's, the city's peace. Find a way to remove the seal, demonic seal. What's my alignment now? Okay, I have to go. Farewell. Hold up. Commander, the thing is... Remember how that crusader went missing a little while back? And when he was found outside the walls, city was dis disemboweled? I remember. No murderer yet. But I never gave up on the investigation. Even when everybody stopped digging. I know we're at war. And that people are dying left and right. But that's no reason to turn a blind eye to crime. So that's its commander. Another crusader has gone missing. He left the barracks to come here. And he would have gone past the gates. My gut tells me the killer won't... My gut tells me that the killer won't keep him alive for long. So commander. You need to start searching this area right now. Trying to find out where he's been taken. I'll search. Get going then. He passed the gates and took a right. Ask around. Check out the buildings. I'll be waiting for you here. Uh, no, backwards. What the backwards. Fuck? Wait, oh, I thought it was there. Is that the right? Wait, what? What? What's the right side? <laughs> you think it's her? She's a werewolf. Trail. Yeah, I, I don't think so, dude. Feels bad, man. Guy comes back home from a long day of work and his bone meal is missing. What the fuck is this place? What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Uh, I have no idea where she's telling me to go. She said somewhere to the right or something. The only saw these is a music is and could have been maybe possible to save him. Maybe here. I think Alan looks like an angel at this point. A literal god of war. 
How did I reach from here? This way. I took the demon mystic uh, path, uh, mythic path. Wherever my legs carry me. How did I even go up here? I clicked this, but I can't even go down from here. The fuck? I'm sure it was just bugged. It was this down here? I thought it was down here. Maybe abandoned building. It's so vague. It should be here, right? Look at this. It gotta be here. Trail me. It's gonna stab me in the back or something. It's a Nivea woman. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? I hate these kind of quests too. This is so out of place. Like, that's bother the Knight Commander finding a demon army with this. How lovely to see you here. Hearing steps behind her, Camellia whips around and freezes. She glances at the bloodier dagger in her hand, and then at the dead body at her feet. How lovely to see you here, she says evenly. Her lips quiver for a fraction of a second before settling into an unimpeachable, polite smile. You know that look. It holds no fear, no shame, no doubt. Only pure exaltation in the sacrament of pain and death. You have seen this look in the eyes of other followers of Zonguton. Perhaps someone has seen it in your eyes too. Perhaps it was the last thing they saw. What's going on here? Sakoris is an ancient land. The spirits of these places have spoken to people since time immemorial. And some of those people heard them and were able to respond. The shamans of Sakoris <clears throat> were always held in high esteem. They knew the will of the spirits. The will of the land itself. Many Kelids would come to the shamans to learn what the spirits desired in order to gain their support. When the world wound opened and the demons poured into Galarian, they drowned Sakoris in blood. The earth moaned as it soaked up the blood of Kelids, Crusaders, and demons. The spirits drank this blood, slowly becoming deranged and turning into incarnations of madness and pain. I vaguely remember this character commenting about stuff like commoners being basically worthless and other random things. And I checked her alignment, but it was neutral, I think. But she never seemed all that neutral. Look what Sarkoris has turned into. It's an open wound on the body of Galarian. The world wound has changed it beyond all recognition. And the spirits, these poor creatures have been corrupted, twisted by war. They moan and they howl, but only shamans can hear their senseless cries of agony. I am a shaman. Morea, the spirit I am bonded with, is mad 
and can speak of nothing but her endless hunger for blood. I give her what she asks for. I. I'm replacing the paladin with her. Crusaders. Fuck the paladin. The spirits of Sakoris can no longer speak to shamans. All I can hear is the cacophony of their howls, screams, and laments. But there is a way to restore their sanity by performing rituals. Bloody but effective rituals. When the untainted blood of the Crusaders cleanses the corruption that Maria fed on for centuries, the spirit will regain her sanity, and I shall be able. Oh, to I lose Nim for it. Oh, never I mind. Shall be able to ask her advice to find out never how mind. to heal the world wound. Tell me, isn't this knowledge worth a handful of lives? Too few. Maria's hunger is still so great. Her pain cannot be soothed by a single victim. But success is within my grasp. I can feel it. It is even I could change the succubus, yeah. I think I'll do that. Last. Forgive me, I forgot to make the introductions. This is Maria. Or rather, this is her home. Or her prison. To call a spade a spade. I caught this spirit a long time ago, and I tried for so long to speak with it. My little demented ball of rage. I felt compelled to bind it to this amulet, just temporarily, until I worked out how to help it. If I am to be fully honest, her name, Maria, is of my own devising. She is not yet able to speak to me, but I still needed a name to call her by. She's fucking crazy. I do not think. I know. I sense things many people cannot. I can infer what the spirits want. For example, there is one spirit hanging over your left shoulder as we speak. It came to enjoy My left shoulder? Victim. Can you sense its hunger? Spirits are akin to animals. You cannot bring a hungry dog to heal. You cannot stroke you a can, hungry actually. cat. To speak to In a fact, spirit, if the hunger is easier, you must first feed it. It is not their fault that after so many years of torment, the only thing that can satisfy their hunger is blood. My ritual will work. I did not read about it in books or learn it from some wizened teacher. You could say that I invented it myself, with Maria's help. I just know that it will work. Sooner or later, I can feel it. The world wound cannot be allowed to poison all the lands of Galarian. The spirits of Sakoris know this better even than you and I. They may know how to heal it. And if not, then perhaps they will know how to eradicate it quickly and painlessly. We're fighting against demons. It is a just cause. But imagine we win and the demons vanish for good. Do you think the world wound will vanish along with them? That it's something we can defeat with weapons? That it won't burst open again at some point in the future like an old festering abscess? I am thinking of the future of these lands. Of how to <coughs> heal them and restore them. Would you not agree that a few crusaders' lives is a price worth paying? He's the youngest son of a noble from Mendiv. I believe his name was... Rillic? A relic. I think the dolt was in love with me. He was ever so eager to come with me to this house. One hint was all it took. He is of no interest to me. Maria wanted his blood, so I sacrificed him. The rest is immaterial. My ritual is not yet complete. <gasps> it's even a chaotic option. Sacrifice. Now I just have to let Maria drink the blood. Will... Will you allow me to complete the ritual? Thank you. This will not take long. Accept this sacrifice, Maria. Drink of its blood. Drink of its strength. Drink of its life. We are one, you and I. Our thoughts, our bodies, our souls 
What you take in, I take in also. Yes and no. I think I made out a few clear words from Maria before the madness swallowed her again. I'm on the right path. More rituals are needed. Not many, not more than 10 or 20, I should think. Will you allow Fuck me it, to take a thousand. my work? <laughs> Thank you, Commander. Did you hear that laugh? I am in your debt. <laughs> there is one more thing. Commander, my ritual is quite a taxing process. The strain Aww. is difficult to bear. Sex is the best way to relieve the tension once it is all over. Oh. Help me. I need you. Here. I now. never refuse a lady in need. Take me. Quickly. That was worth. Everything was worth. Thank you. I never thought that the commander would turn out to they be call so me the one pump man. Open minded. You have exceeded my wildest expectations. <laughs> you know, when I saw you standing there, I thought my life would end tonight, but you spared me. Thank you. I would like to speak with you a little later. Please come and see me. No need to be shy, for I have no more secrets to keep from you. Now, we should leave this place. You go first. I will follow in a few minutes. All right, I will change the succubus for her, I think. I didn't know she was evil. Well, I kind of suspected, but it was here. Look, it's undetectable. I guess it's the amulet she was talking about, huh? This one. Yeah. I kind of fucked up her build, though. I, I expect her into sickles, and I think sickles are just terrible weapons. Oh no. This way. Thank you, I'm not banned yet for 300 bits. Respecker? Nah, it's okay. I think anything is better than this fucking succubus in battle. It kind of fits her too. What? This is the chaotic option? Man! The problem has been solved. That's all I need to know, Commander. Oh, that sucks, man. I didn't want to give her up. Let's see. I'm almost there. Like 40%. My legs carry me. She will simply slit throats with a sickle, and that's it. It kind of makes sense as a chaos option. Just too bad it is. Because I don't want to end the request line or like the whole NPC. Ah, the stuff we do for pussy, man. An asshole. Oh, we went for asshole too, right? So. What, what, what do you call Bullets? someone that's uh, no, more than backwards. bisexual? Like, you even go for other species, so like succubus and demons. Pussy ass succubus, what else? Pansexual? <laughs> I just fuck anything that moves, man. Fuck it. Commander, forgive me for bothering you with a personal matter, but I just wanted to say how grateful I am to you. During the attack on Dresden, I did not exactly cover myself in glory, yet every reason to throw me out in the army was save me to the condemned. Yet you supported me, you helped me regain my footing and continue to fight. You will not regret this decision, I swear, I will never again let the crusaders down. Neither by my actions, nor by my words, nor by my thoughts. I will be loyal to the crusade to the end. Good, I am sick of listening to you whine. Apologies, command, it won't happen again. I have conquered my inner demons. Yeah, me too. Now I can go back to fighting the real kind. Me too. Commander, what's your succubus pal done this time? 
nothing on. 80 nothing. I wish I had locked up it in the dozens dungeon. I tried to find out who gave the order to Jailer and who carried it out, but I came up empty handed. What's the story there then? If you ask me, it's one of two things. Either it was Yusuke or her arrest, or it was Aushida herself. And she just felt like locking herself up in the cell. Which one is more likely to you? She probably locked up herself, huh? No, talk to her. All we know is that we know nothing at all. Talking to her might be a good idea. She was like afraid of giving in to her inner demon. And becoming what she was before. Like a werewolf quest where she's locking herself up during uh, midnight. I'm rooting for a redemption just like you, but who can tell what's going on inside of a demon who's trying to turn good? Commander, we've managed to defeat Korums as host. The remnants of his army have retreated to lick their wounds and we must use this opportunity to go on to the offensive. But right now our army is not fully prepared to begin an expansion. The further we advance into enemy territory, the more we'll need the more we'll need strong and mobile cavalry. I propose to plunge to our forces with light cavalrymen, but death could offer us plenty. There are many more lone paladins in Kularen like me who travel and help the needy. Shall we call them to our aids? Cavalry, the crucial element to Naomi. Uh, I fuck it. Turn scouts into paladins, cuirassiers, hedge knights. Light cavalry. Don't hedge knights sound really good? They just sound the coolest. These people are not giving any orders on warrior, but if I warn them the most. With that, this meeting is over, blah 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 blah. A hedge knight is like the highest tier knight or something. Yeah, it sounds really nice. Hell Commander, permission to report, although the desertion has been halted, not everyone appreciated your methods. A circle of discontent formed within the officers' ranks, calling themselves the wary. Just kill them all. Hatch is the lowest? Maybe I'm... What game was it? I think... Battle Brothers? It was the best one there. Makes sense, it was just a bunch of mercenaries, really. There are no blatant signs of sedition. Otherwise, they would have been arrested. Still, the talk is concerning. We can't rely on them. We need our own trusted officers. Kill them all. I suggest enlisting one of the volunteers. We've got some very capable fighters among the flesh, but every day, the kind of could be made to straight away. We know this kind of meaning of honor. We call the pawns and knights from a little order. Every time, it's all these stupid things. Pious officers. No. Striving with distinction. General Tempus and XP. No. Five bonus morale. I I'm doing the morale. Morale is double hits. I take that. Hail! Amidst the critical shortage of supplies, a number of soldiers who cut them from the fellow of the crusade have set up a black market in the army. They steal everything that's not nailed down, trade medicine for swords, and spell scrolls for tobacco and rations. They know better than to ask for anything from the command so they take care of themselves. And if someone's unhappy with the trade, they come out with the knives. I don't know how to deal with it, except by alleviating the shortage of essential supplies we should press. We should press men therefore more deliveries and we need to sort out storage and build some decent warehouses. Right now, it's Thief's Paradise. Underground black market, huh? What's so bad about it? Let them trade things at paradise and then there won't be a black market, just a normal legit market. Dude, these things are just so... Yeah, like, there's so much talk and then the effect of it is just so little. A warehouse increases finance points income by 100 if built next to an inn. Material points income by 1 if built next to a supply center. Energy point by 1 if it's in a sanctuary. 1 warehouse per fort. This seems like a lot of effort.
Ah, I'll figure it out. Oh, I'm done. Oh, oh, rest. Thirty minutes of talking. Oh god, I just rested. Commander, you have a letter from Mendef. It was sent via the Church of Imode by a trusted courier from the Nerosian archives. It is sealed and signed by Inquisitor Leotler. And I was asked to deliver to deliver it personally to you. So that's what I'm doing. I'll uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. 